Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing a uh, a pick your team break of Prism World Cup Soccer 2018 Prism World Cup Soccer six box half case. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Now, if you bought at least three teams at the end of the break, if you bought at least three countries, you get one entry into the promo. I'll randomize just those entries. And the name on top gets $75 of break credit. I know I'm going to forget. <laughs> I might even forget even with this note. All right, so now this comes from a fresh case. So let's pop this guy open, and then we'll see which six boxes we're going to do. This break should take about an hour, I think. Maybe a little bit less, but it should, it'll, it'll take a little bit of time. So um, we'll be ready for another break in about, in about an hour or so. So keep that in mind. We've got a lot of breaks that are close, so go to jazbeeshobbyland.com and check it out. I mean, we might be able to do another one of these tonight, too. We've got time for that. All right. We've got six boxes. Six boxes right here. Six boxes right here. Let's roll the die. One, two, three for that row. And four, five, six for this row. And it's one, so we'll be doing this back row right here. And this will save for next time. All right, good luck, everybody. TGT saying USA didn't qualify, I know. We watch, we watch sports here, too. It's kind of our thing. Yeah, but yeah, they still have autographs in here. Christian Pulisic is still in, still in here. All right, so two, four, and six boxes right there. If a team didn't have autographs, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have sold that team. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Oh, easy. We didn't we didn't pull a big hit yet. There, Jaspie Bell. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. World Cup kicked off today with the host country playing Saudi Arabia and Russia looking quite dynamic actually. Russia beating the Saudis 5-0. Now the, the now Russia might be able to might be able to win their their group because of that goal differential. Having, having that kind of goal differential, I think, is going to be huge for them. Plus five. I think, and barring a miraculous turnaround, I think the, the Saudis are pretty much, pretty much done already. They only play three group matches, one against each team in each country in the group. And the top two will advance... Who do I think is going to come out on top? But in the in the in the whole thing, the whole shebang, I feel like tournament in tournament play TGT. It's kind of hard to to really predict who's going to do it. Um, I enjoy putting a, putting some pennies, a couple wagers for entertainment purposes only, on some uh, on some countries to see who's going to win. So I put a couple pennies on Spain. France, Belgium, and England. Now, I know Belgium and England are long shots, odds-wise, according to the bookies. But I think they've got some value there. Most likely, it's going to be one of the top four, right? Brazil, Germany, Spain, France. I feel like those guys are going to be the ones that are going to be meeting each other in the end. 
But of the favorites, I thought Spain and France. I thought Spain and France would be be the guys, even though they fired their the Span Spanish national team fired their coach two days before the their first match, which I thought was an interesting move. All right. Get this keyboard out of the way here. Good luck, everybody. So I think the commons like this aren't going to ship. These are not numbered, so I'm going to be kind of blowing by those, but they will ship. Obviously, inserts and obviously stuff like this will ship too. Giovanni Dos Santos. That'll go to... Oh, sorry. Hit the mic. Um, that'll go to Mexico. L3. 87 out of 199 for Josh Proust. There's Isco for Spain. Well, hope springs eternal in the World Cup. You never know what can happen. Crazy things can happen. You know, we saw Iceland and Wales advance pretty far in the Euros two years ago. I think if you remember, I think France back in 1998, they had missed two World Cups in a row, and then when they were hosting the World Cup in 98, they won it. I think in 02, the Korean team and the, and the Japanese team in Korea, Japan actually went pretty far as well when they were hosting it. So Russia could be as like a weirdly surprised team right there too. 38 out of 40, Alexander Lacazette will be one of the big names for France. Mark Fukudo with Le Bleu. There's Mesut Ozil. Who's had a weird club year, but maybe he'll shine for his, uh, his uh, country. Mikael Lustig for Sweden. That'll be for James S., 57 out of 99. Yeah, EA, uh, Spain, Portugal should be really good. Is that, is that today? Or tomorrow, I mean. That's 11 a.m. For, for me in here in L.A., I feel like I can do that. I can wake up for that. 110 out of 125. The Biter, Luis Suarez, Uruguay. Former Liverpool man for EA. What's great about this soccer is that even some of these parallels could cover the cover the spot. <laughs> that's, how, that's how, especially as the World Cup goes along. If he scores like an, a brilliant goal or two, an absolute peach, as they, as they say sometimes at EA, get your spot back right there. Marcus Berg out of 125. Who am I going for in Spain, Portugal? I'll tell you what. Here's, here's my hot take, TGT. My hot take was that Portugal would not advance. I put some pennies on Portugal not advancing from the group at plus 300. Three to one odds. So, I think I think you can see where I stand on that match. I'm going for Spain. I mean, who who does Portugal really have? Cristiano Ronaldo and like that's it, really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know they have some solid players, but but I th I think they could be. You know, CR7 hasn't been CR7 this last year, except in the Champions League. It'll be interesting. Uh, no, yeah, no, I'm not going to be getting up at 5 a.m. for the for Egypt Uruguay. Although it would be interesting to see current Liverpool striker Mohamed Salah and former Liverpool striker Luis Suarez facing each other. That's a DVR game, EJ. I'll DVR that and then kind of watch it, you know, in double time or something. <laughs> before I have to come here, and then we'll discuss some of the matches. But it'll be, it'll be like, it'll be random matches like Morocco-Iran tomorrow. 
at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, that will be like the most exciting watch. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, Portugal, Spain. And watch that ends in like a nil-nil draw. Like Morocco, Iran is like three, like four, three, Morocco. They did, yeah. Russia looked really good today. I don't think people were expecting them to be, I guess, that attack minded. Which I thought was interesting. And I thought the Saudis would would maybe park the bus a little bit more, maybe defend a little bit more, but you know, it didn't quite work out that way. There he is. There's the man, Mohamed Salah, who separated his shoulder in the Champions League final for my Liverpool, which made me sad. Still makes me sad. But I think it's supposed to be a little bit better, but the chance of... Uh, what what's nervous? What makes me nervous is that the chance of re-injury and actually dislocating the shoulder is now much greater if he falls on it weird. So maybe that's why I don't want to watch the match, EJ. <laughs> uh, there's Dmitry Kombarov. Was he one of the goal scorers today? I don't remember. Russia. That goes to Daniel Patera. One, uh, 33 out of 199. We got Mesut Ozil. Remember, these ones aren't numbered, so that's how I'm kind of breezing by them, but they will ship. Messi will ship, of course. I'll save one of those. Sc scared of Putin fat. Uh, yeah, the Russians didn't want to lose in front of Vladimir Putin. What was, what was crazy was... Uh, I, <laughs> it was just kind of funny to see uh, Vladimir Putin talking with the king of Saudi Arabia and in between was like the FIFA the FIFA president and I was just like man what are they talking about what are they talking about I think he scored Alexander Kolarov right no he's a Serbian I thought he had scored is that a different parallel might be can I have some of the cards you're just putting away I'm also a collector dude if not, how do I get them? You could you could pay for them. Join our breaks or nothing's for free. We're all collectors here too, dude. There's Leroy Sané. All the people in this break have paid for these. So they'll be going to they'll be going to them. Except for the commons. Diego Reyes, 29 out of 149. Mexico, El Tri, that goes to Josh Proust. Yeah, is that is that the Cyrillic variation? I didn't realize they had those in that set. Serbia, by the way, you get that. James S. with that one. I think it's the first of that variation that we saw, that we've seen, EJ, right? There's Thomas Rodriguez. I think, EJ, you got Columbia, right? I'll sleeve this one up for you. And there's uh, EJ... Kawashima for Japan. And that's a camo. That's 5 out of 20. So not every box has... An, we didn't see an autograph here, right? Not every box has an autograph, but they can be have uh, these low-numbered parallels like this one for Japan. That'll go to Josh Proust. And some of those oftentimes can go for more than a... Um, can go for more than the autograph itself. Slide these over. And let's do the next box here. And we've got Good luck everyone. Uh 
All right, good luck, everybody. This is Pick Your Team 1, Prism World Cup Soccer. Just in time for the beginning of the World Cup. Michael Hobzek just grabbed the Ravens and Luminance football. Heard it's beautiful. Had to see for yourself. It is. And I'm glad you got that team. Thank you. TGT. Another question from him. If you had a chance, had the chance, would you ever go to a World Cup game? <laughs> nah. That sounds, that sounds like a terrible time. If I had the chance, I wouldn't. Of course I would. What kind of... That's like asking, if you had the chance, would you breathe? We're, we're, the United States is going to have a chance in 2026 when we get the World Cup. I'll definitely try to make one of those. Next box. We're about halfway through this half case break. Good luck, everybody. Ah, see, there's a good question right there. Paint your body like the flag? I'd do it. Maybe if I if I lose some LBSs, you know, and then maybe get a nice uh, four pack going. Then I'll do it. All right. Thanks, Jose. I Actually, I, I won't be the one taking care of it. Someone else will be, but I appreciate it. All right. There's Dybala. Harry Kane for England. I'll be a big part of the England campaign. Right. That, that was... There's uh, Yoshimar Yutin for Peru. Well, yeah, TG, that's, that's what they do at those soccer games. Everyone's drunk and doing crazy stuff. That's what I would do. Um, I have never been to a qualifier before, Josh Pruce, believe it or not. Anytime it's been kind of in close to my geographic area, I think something has always come up or something's happened. I just wasn't able to go. I'd like to. Um, I did not get my Dodgers 4th of July hat yet, but I've got a note on my desk at home to do it. Take advantage of uh, maybe one of those Father's Day discounts that they have going on. We've got Christian Erickson. Is that an autograph? No, it's not, but these landmark cards are actually really great. For Denmark, the X-Line with the Danes. These are really short printed. Some play, I, I, think, um, I think Rex pulled one in a previous break ages ago. He got, I think, Thomas Müller for Germany, one of these landmark cards. He said he sold it for like 60, 70 bucks or something like that. That might, this might go for that. They've got windmills. Don't know what the swan is about. Don't know what those guy, those these guys are about. That's Little Mermaid right there. And I don't know what that's all about. And they got flowers, I guess. All right, anyhow, that's a nice hit. All right, we got Radmel Falcao Garcia for Colombia. That goes to Eric Jennings, EJ. Yeah, EPL game. That that's that's definitely something I want to accomplish soon. Ten out of twenty-five. Nice low number on that. That might replace the autograph. Um. Yeah, definitely want to get to a Liverpool match. There's Christian Bolaños. Fifty-five out of one forty-nine. Nino said he had a. Antoine Griezmann landmark and you sold it for 60? Yeah, I feel like that that could be like 50, 60 bucks. That should cover the team X line. 
55 out of 149. Costa Rica, that is for EJ. And there you have it. I don't think we haven't seen an autograph so far, right? That's the dream right there, Josh Pruce, Anfield. I'm glad they decided to expand and renovate it instead of tearing it down. There were there were some some stadium plans they were kicking around, but Arthur, what's going on? Oh, you've had EA says he has a had a membership of Chelsea for four years and I still haven't made a game yet. They're looking to build a new new stadium too. I think for them, being being in being in uh, in London, I think they're having a hard time finding real estate. <laughs> Tottenham got a new stadium too. Oh, you've been to Selhurst and Stamford Bridge too, Josh. Pretty nice. Yeah, I gotta make my way over there. I gotta renew the passport. That reminds me. I need an assistant. I gotta renew my passport, ladies and gentlemen. I think they're the, the one of the uh, one of the proposed spots for Ch a new stadium for Chelsea. I think was um, was uh, Battersea Park. I think, which is if you if you know your Pink Floyd, I think it was featured in a Pink Floyd album cover with the big tall smokestacks. But I think it's supposed to be a historical spot, so they want to try to build the stadium within those smokestacks which i think would be kind of a cool idea for for a stadium but i don't know if they can make that work at a decent price oh i see that makes sense then you're a crystal palace guy and you and the wife's a liverpool fan that's a that's a good trip right it's yeah it's an it's an old power station I think I did hear that too. Crystal Palace did get a new stadium improved, right? I think Tottenham has a new stadium. I think they played at Wembley for, for the season. They should open their new stadium this year. Oh, this break is also going faster than I thought. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but... Anyhow, good luck, everybody. Next box. So we are over halfway. We are halfway through the break, getting into the second half right there. There's Dmitry Komborov for Russia. I think he scored today. Against Saudi Arabia. Daniel Batera, 83 out of 99 with the Russians. Hector Herrera. There's Hamas Rodriguez. There's Messi. Nice one for Argentina, Daniel Patera. Mohamed Salah, nice. He'll be in action. He's the early game, folks. Do I have my schedule, World Cup schedule here? Yeah, so on Friday, tomorrow, he's the early game. Egypt and Uruguay. One oh eight out of one twenty five. Mikhail Lustig for Sweden. Who's got Egypt? Egypt goes to Kip Kip Hooray. There you go, Kip. Oh, there you go, EA. That's a good that sounds like a cool trip. Titans play in London this year. You should tie it all together. I think they just released 35 out of 25. I think they just released the um, James S with Sweden. I think they just released the EPA schedule. The Premier League schedule. So you might be able to look it up right now, EA. And see if you could work out a trip. Maybe send me a postcard from London. Maybe I'll go with you. Maybe if they're playing Liverpool. Well, I might actually do that. <laughs> Save up the dollar dollar bill. 64 out of 199. Marcus Rashford for the three Lions. Jason Lawner with England. Chesney for Poland.
There's Luis Suarez. So Mohamed Salah will be facing Luis Suarez tomorrow. As Cavani. Diego Godin, etc., etc. Alberto Rodriguez for Peru. There's Edison Cavani. Luis Suarez is running mate right there. Peru, that goes to the X-Line. <laughs> Arthur Peru going to the X-Line. 95 out of 125. All right. Next box. We've got the second half in the store right now, ladies and gentlemen. So get into it. While supplies last. All right. Good luck. Yeah, we haven't seen an auto yet. The second half must have all the autos. But believe it or not, those those low numbered parallels that come out of the boxes sometimes they'll sell, uh, they'll sell better than than the autos themselves. Oh wow, it looks like EA has a fall trip in store for him. So his soccer club, his English Premier Soccer Club, is Chelsea, and also a Tennessee Titans guy. So he's saying that Manchester United play Chelsea in London on Saturday at Stamford Bridge, and then the Titans probably play at Wembley on that Sunday. That's not, that's, not, that's a nice week. That could be a nice weekend for you. Andrew, what's going on, man? Andrew H. in the house. All right, I see a handful of orders coming in. I don't know what it's, I don't know what they're for, but I'm sure we'll have some more breaks set up and ready to go after this. This break will be over in about 10, 15 minutes, I think. So we should be ready for the next one in about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, wow. One left in Essentials. Well, there you go, Andrew. Essentials, basketball, $13.99 a spot. NT Baseball, which is moving pretty quickly as well. So there's a lot going on. All right, there's name. We'll save a Neymar right here, Scorers Club. That He might be a big part of that Brazilian team. There's Johan Berg Gudmundsson for Iceland. Will the will the Ice, Iceland Icelandic Icelandians will they surprise again this year the X line? I'm sure X line remembers two years ago in the Euros when they made a surprise run through the group and I think through a knockout stage or two, along with Wales. Wales is also pretty surprising as well. along with Ragnar Sigurdsson. Oh, that's right. Yeah, EA named his, uh, named his puppy uh, Chelsea. That's a good name. I like that name. Paul Pogba, Joe Hart, John Oakray in the house. The X-Line remembers that Iceland campaign in Euro 2016. He's like, how could I forget it? He's just like, that, that, that is seared into my memory. You know, it's like my, my my wedding day, kids being born, <laughs> Iceland's Euro 2016 campaign, right? I'm sure it's right up the top five. John Oakery in the house too. Carlos Sanchez, Uruguay, 82 out of 149. That is for EA. There's Angel Di Maria. There's Messi, there's Kim Ki-hee. There's Gonzalo Higuain. 
Nice Philip Coutinho, new era. I feel like these aren't very common. Former Liverpool man. Kind of wish he was still there. For Brazil, that goes to John Gas. Yeah, I don't see the auto. There's no auto in this one either. No, I think it'd be impossible to go through a whole case without an auto. Although, I mean, some of those parallels that we're getting are probably, will probably sell better than like some random dude's autograph. You know, like some guy from like the, from some random dude from like Morocco or something like that. Sometimes the parallel sell better. Yeah, we. this is our sixth box. We've done five boxes, no autographs. Ladies, they must all be in the second half. Pick your teams in the second half, folks. Pick your team two and a chance to win $75 of break credit. Buy at least three, you get one entry, one entry max per person, and chase 75 bucks of break credit. And looks like Essentials is sold out because John Okri tried to get the last spot, but gone. A little, a little late. All right, so we're going to see what else is filled up and maybe get a little break schedule going. All right, just a few more packs to rip. Good luck, boys and girls. This is Pick Your Team 1, six box, half case break of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. Good luck, everybody. There's Jesus Corona for Mexico for El Tri. That goes to Josh Pruce. 65 out of 99 on that one. G State Dubs is saying supposed to be seven autos per case on average, right? So all the remaining boxes should have one. So there should be one in here and then one in each of the remaining six that I have off just off to the side right here. We got Assam El Hadare for Egypt. 117 out of 125. That'll go to Kip with the Egyptians. And there's an auto, I think. It better be. It is. Road to Russia. Martin Odegaard for Norway. That goes to John Goss and Norway. I don't think Norway... Or is Norway in the World Cup? I don't think Norway's in the World Cup. He was part of the Road to the World Cup, though. There you go. Road to Russia. There he is, the midfielder. Oh, yeah. On Real Madrid. This is a keeper, actually. One for the future. Carlos Baca for Colombia. That'll be for EJ, who was actually looking for a James Rodriguez. 63 out of 125. And the last stack here, let's see if we got any other low-numbered card. There's Mats Hummels for Germany. There's Neymar. We already sleeved one of those up. We saved one of those. Mbappe. Uh, Germany. This one goes to Jeff Goldenthal and Z Germans. 180 out of 199. And the last bit, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Mitrovic for Serbia. 
And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. This parallel goes to James S. and Serbia. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So like G-State was saying, there's 53 out of 125. There should be seven autos per case. We've got one here from this break, so the other six boxes should have an auto each. By at least three teams, you'll get one entry into our $75 break credit promo, which I'm going to do right now. Let's see who wins 75 bucks. That'll go a long way in getting into the next break and chasing 75 bucks again, which is what I would do. All right, so let's go back to this screen right here. Let's increase the font just a little bit. I'm going to alphabetize by your first names, sort by column A. So Daniel Patera got at least three, so he's got one entry in the promo. EA's got at least three, one entry in the promo. EJ's got three, one entry in the promo. EO, EA, EJ, EO in the promo. He's got at least three. James has at least three. Jason Lawner has at least three. John Goss has at least three. Jason Lawner, at least three countries. Already got Jason. Sorry. So we had John Goss, Jason Lawner, John Goss. The X line had at least three. Josh Pruce had at least three. And Nino had at least three. So there you go. That is, how many names is that? That's 10 names. You have a 1 out of 10 chance. Oh, that's really good odds. 1 out of 10 chance to get $75 of break credit? I like that. All right, so let's get your name in a blank, names in a blank list right here. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. 4 and a 4, 8 times. And the name on top, 75 bucks of break credit. Winner take all. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Name on top, Daniel Patera with $75 of break credit in your pocket coming your way. Thanks, everybody. Congrats to, uh, congrats to Daniel. Thanks to everyone getting in. A lot of nice hits. Second half in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's do some more football, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.